Hi, Code Weaver here, and it's time for a little bit more of Code Weaver Plays Games. So, uh, yeah, I decided to do a short stream this evening, but I was just getting sick of work and not focused on it. And uh, this is a good time to sort of unwind for a moment. So we're going to play a little bit of Heaven's Vault. Um, I have already played through this game. This is not blind. Um, it was quite a while ago, but I got inspired to revisit it because another streamer, um, let me see if I can recall, Lady Lecta, I believe, has um, been starting to play it. And um, I just remembered how much I enjoyed um, moving through the world. I love the art style. I love the sailing. Um, I love pretty much everything about the game. It tickled the same fancy for me as, uh, as Outer Wilds did. Uh, I played Heaven's Vault first. Um, because um, it's uh, extremely story heavy um, and it's got some uh, sort of uh, nice little bits of, of, I guess you could say, cer cerebral mechanics without being necessarily explicit puzzles in, in a lot of cases. And, um, and I don't know, it's just beautiful. So here we go. We get right into this. So climb the stone staircase, more ancient than the mind can imagine. Find the cornerstone and under it, the copper box that is marked with his name. Unlock it. Open the lid. Take out the tablet of Lapis Lazuli. Read. The Epic of Gilgamesh. 300 BCE. So that's delightful. So I am once again being a bit of an archaeologist. Um... This um, world, um, you'll just have to explore it with me. So um, this is uh, very much, again, story-driven. Um, it's If you don't want to get any spoilers, I would suggest you bail on this stream, much as I love to have uh, anybody who pops by. Um, that's, that's this style of game. Um, so uh, you're better off, I think... Um, you're better off playing this for yourself uh, to explore it fully. To give you an idea of what it's uh, basically about, though, um, I'm going to end up playing an, um, sort of an archaeologist that is trying to understand the past uh, of a sort of a spacefaring civilization um, that has gotten, I guess, uh, that, that, that has um, uh, sort of very limited sort of nebula to work in. Um, you find this out very early, so I don't feel as terribly spoilerish. Uh, but the culture does not really like uh, poking around in the past. They, they prefer to look forward to the future. So um, this is not a task with which you um, with which you are uh, raised a lot of friends, as it were. Um, and uh, you're a little bit like Outer Wilds. You're trying to piece together um, how this culture came to be and uh, uncover some of the past which helps uh, perhaps dictate where the future of this culture is going to go. So, let us uh, figure this out. Um, now I've forgotten a lot of this, and, I've remember, and I do remember some of it, but... Uh, yeah, let's go. This is partially voiced, and I'm not going to try to do the main character's accent. I'm just not. But uh, stories I just... don't have tidy beginnings. The past is always present. But there has to be a spark. Something that brings the past to light. Please, climb carefully. It's our little robot buddy. Carefully you don't roll backwards. <clears throat> you do a little bit better with the voices. It's a long way. that 
take a walk to rest before you continue, mistress. Please, I got the words on that. So, this has an absolutely beautiful sort of hand-drawn style to, to its animations. Let's see if we can't um, get the uh, get the video slightly better here. Let's uh, resolution. Yeah, we totally can. That's a terrible resolution. Let's fix that. Uh, no, no, I don't want to reset it. I want to apply it. Oh, there we go. That worked out. Oh, that's much cleaner. I quite like that. We're going to turn on subtitles just in case I forg I miss something uh, in the audio. Hopefully it won't be distracting for everybody. Um, it'll help me out as well. Um, all right. Resume. Oh, that's much prettier. Hopefully everyone can see that. <clears throat> all right, so I control the walking around with my uh, keys. This is the summit. This is as far as the path goes. Oh, I guess that was the robot. This is as far as the path goes. Can I see off the edge here? It's not really, po it's not possible to sort of die in this game. This is all about exploration and, uh, and choices, dialogue and exploration. Very much my style of game to be immersed in a story so deeply. A bricked up opening. There is something here. To keep people out, do you think? Or to keep something in? There's something written here. Ancient script. This must have been cut in when the mortar was still wet. But I think I can read it. Heaven's Vault. You'll see a lot more of that writing as time goes on. I'll have to keep my eye on external streams. Uh, Discord for a few friends of mine whom I'm waiting for. The University of Iox, some weeks later. My story begins on Iox. That was where I met the robot. Mistress Alia. Mistress Alia Elazra. I have been waiting for you. I have been asked to escort you to Professor Mayari. She is very anxious for your arrival. Am I in trouble? I'm in trouble, aren't I? She did not say, but I imagine she is simply being welcoming. This way. Did she say what she wanted? Yes. She said she wanted you. So why has she sent you? Did you do something wrong? That seems unlikely. My ethical core protects me from serious error. Maybe I should get one of those. I was under the impression humans already had them. Somewhere between the second and first and second vertebrae. And do you have a name, robot? Is that intended to be a joke, mistress? This way. You should know that the professor's urgency was remarkable. So we have, uh, we can go and, uh, visit her obviously but we also have these uh, question and reply markers for additional information 
Maybe we should keep her waiting. Don't want her making a habit of impatience. I cannot recommend that course, mistress. Have I got a promotion? With respect, mistress, I think that is most unlikely. Why is Miari's room so far from everything? I imagine she enjoys her view of the tree, mistress. I am sure it is pleasing to her. All right. I was 15 when Maori rescued me from the slums of Elbereth and brought me here. I'd never seen such luxury or such kindness. What is your ethical core anyway? What good is it? Obviously, it is what stops me from pushing humans off cliffs, mistress. And how reliable is your core? Evidently, it is the core of my being, mistress. If it goes, I go. Some law of robotics stuff going on here. That's probably for the best. Oop. Uh, uh. I still don't know why she did it. Professor Miari. Alia. <coughs> Alia, there you are. Come in. I came as soon as I got your message. You don't need to flatter me, Alia. Nonetheless, I'm glad you came. I know your work is important to you. My work is important to everyone, Professor. Well, today it's important to me. You're our expert on history. Tell me what you make of this. It's certainly old. Empire period. The device is the eagle and sun. One of the scholars sent this brooch to me. Janaki Renba. Did you know him? Did? Look at the detail. I see them. Ancient markings. I know they're a hobby of yours, Aaliyah. But can you read them? Oh, wrong voice. Whatever. Um, okay. Eagle wing brooch. I've never seen either of these groupings before. But the two words have some common elements. So they must have related meanings. Well... So, friend, beloved, emperor, so friend, beloved, or holy emperor? I'm going to go with that, partly because I think I remember, but maybe not. Holy emperor, but I'm only, holy emperor, but I'm only guessing. You don't actually think it belonged to, actually belong to an emperor, do you? That would make this the find of a decade. Now perhaps you see why you're here. Janaki told me he'd found something. That was more than a month ago. Janaki isn't like you. He's an Ioxian through and through. You've tried contacting him. I can't. Wherever he is, he's on his own. Not everyone is required to travel with a robot. I can't go hunting the nebula for missing people, Aaliyah, but you can. Something <clears throat> something persuaded him to go to Mercy of all places. Maybe you can find out what it was. I'll see what I can dig up. A cruel choice of words, Aaliyah. Come back when you've found him, Aaliyah. And Aaliyah, you're taking that robot with you. Thank you, Professor. I long to see the nebula. Oh, and before you go, you should look in on Huang. He was eager to see you. Or why? 
Aaliyah, really. I couldn't possibly imagine. I know he's rather beneath you, but you could at least say good faith to him. For the benefit of our little community. I'll go and find him. He's down there, by the tree. You must have walked straight past him on your way in. Good hunting, my dear. There's a lot of ways in which that conversation can be a lot more cruel and snarky. Would you recognize Remba if you saw him? Did you meet him? I believe he activated me, mistress, after I was uncovered. I suspect that is why my professor, Miari, assigned me to you. Okie dokie. And can I just say, Mr. Celia, it is wonderful to be accompanying you. A lot of this conversation is very real time. Oh, yes? It makes this challenging. And why is that? I find humans fascinating, and you are very different to most here. I've only recently been activated. I'm calling you six. Six, mistress, I shall remember that. I wonder if I got Miari's translation correct. I think I did. The shape shows this is an empire piece. Okay. And the emperors believed themselves to be gods, so it makes sense that the words would be almost the same. But it still doesn't tell me... Where did this thing come from? Aaliyah, tell me, are you still wasting your time on your curious notions of history? Miari wants me to find Janaki Renba. You haven't lured him into archaeology as well, have you? He was always so devout. Do you know a place called Mercy? Of course I do. They're in the Iox Protectorate. You'd know that if you weren't so busy digging up old stones. You should devote yourself to a real science. Metallics, maybe. Loop philosophy. History is a science. It's the exploration of the past through evidence and theory. Honestly. Most people think you will not be content until you have unearthed your own skull. Good faith to you, Ilya. May the waters light your way. Hmm. What do you think of the sculpture? It is a pleasing balance to it. It has a pleasing balance to it. Ah, I agree. Miari must like it too. She has a model just like it on her desk. Ooh, some replies here. I really hate him. Understandable, mistress. So you really were dug out of a wall in Iox? I believe I was removed from a wall. The exact events are hazy. Okay. No, I've seen enough Miari for today. Okay, yeah, I'm going the wrong direction here, that's fine. Oh, more questions. Six, how long were you buried here? I have no idea, mistress. I do not remember it. Elia, I didn't know you were back on Diox. How are you, Huang? 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 Well enough, well enough, I've been reading all day. What were you reading? The Annals again. Did you know Mazwai claims the Holy Empire was founded by three wolves racing to heaven? Each one tore the throat out of the other as the three fell to earth. Are, are you really interested? Absolutely. Aww. All right, uh, most people glaze over. He began to talk with such passion that his eyes glittered and he seemed to grow at least an inch tall. Alia? Yes? You weren't listening, never mind. Oh, no, 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 that's not right. That's not what I... <sighs> Have 
Have you ever heard a place called Mercy? I didn't mean to dismiss him like that. That was not cool. No, but I have barely ever been off Hyox. Tell me, what do you make of this brooch? That's a nice piece. I've not seen anything quite like it. Accent is all over the place. Oh, what are you, what are you gonna do? Um, there's something written on the back. In ancient script, let's see. The first word is one I've seen before. It is a descriptive form of the word for God. Uh, Miari should have asked for you to translate it. Oh, well, Aliyah, we work best working together, I think. Oh, I think he's sweet on her. The symbology is classic Holy Empire, of course, the Eagle and Sun. Older, more ancient versions have more naturalistic birds. Oh, and it seemed heavy to me. Heavy brooches hold up heavy cloth. Light brooches hold up light cloth, so it must have belonged to someone important. Well, Aliyah, before you go, I found a line of ancient in the annals of Mazwai I thought you might like. If you have time, that is. Always. Here, see what you think. All right. I know one of these words. I'll have to guess at the other two. Uh... Well, so neither of those words really works for um, circuits or labors. I don't really buy that. So it would be either robots or rebels. Um, pretty sure that this is probably, uh, might be banished, I don't really recall. Pretty sure that's robots. So the, the whole mechanic here, again, there are going to be a lot of spoilers in this game. So... Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and because this is not a blind playthrough, I'm going to get a lot more things right than I'm going to get wrong. But basically, the idea here is that you're going to we're going to get piles and piles of these scripts um, if from various sources in fragments, in long sentences, and so on. And we'll have to tease out what the meanings of various words are from context and from comparison between them all. Um, and so the um, the uh, the trick is to be able to identify common elements uh, between the words, which it will help you do a little bit, uh, but also maybe try to guess at some of the iconography. Um, like you can notice that there's this swirly thing here, uh, this this sort of I don't know coat hanger shape. We see a little bit of that in the robots, uh, or or hang on, what's the other one? Rebels. So, there might be some comparison there, I'm not sure. Oh, no, how do I yeah, back up? There we go. We know that this word is right. No idea how to interpret that, though, so I'm just going to go with that. Emperor Spanish Robots. I think that's correct. It's quite a monster, isn't it? Uh, but I thought there weren't any robots in the Empire. This suggests otherwise. Well, the annals won't read themselves. Good faith to you. Hope I managed to make it up to him. Shall we proceed to our ship now? Have you sailed before, Six? I have no idea, Mistress. But I am keen to find out. All right, so here's another mechanic that's actually really epically awesome for this game. We're gonna be gathering information from all over the um, timeline, ex extending back not just days or weeks or months, but thousands of years. And um, there are major periods of time, like the ancient time of the Holy Empire, and then smaller events like Six Awakes on, uh, awakes on Iox. Um, 
and we're going to end up with information dotted all over this to attempt to build a story that spans thousands of years. Um, amongst these, uh, for example, the Chronicles of Maswai written, let's just pick this up. Maswai was an ancient writer who documented the effects of the loop across the nebula. Fashioning of the brooch. From the Eagle and Sun design, it is clearly an Empire period piece. And we're going to, um, some of this has already been filled in, so we'll go through a little bit of this. Uh, but we also have uh, inscriptions, and the inscriptions are these things, which we're going to uh, find lots and lots of uh, examples of as time goes on. Um, I guess it gives you hints as to solvable inscriptions, unsolved inscriptions, um, also events that were just updated, and then targeted information like events that are related to Miari specifically or Renba, the brooch. So this is auto-categorized various pieces of uh, information, which forms a, a timeline for discovery of stuff. In a way, it's a lot like the um, a lot like the um, the log mechanism uh, in Outer Wilds, which was absolutely delicious as a as a sort of a story tracking mechanic. Um, and uh, this is very, very similar um, in a way. It'll help piece together um, to sort of, I don't know, how these cultures evolved. In any case, um, I don't think we have anything to translate. Do we have anything to translate? No, we already know that. That's just showing us the last one that we uh, translated, so that's fine. So there we go. The fallers establish power on the high ox. So six is probably buried, maybe back in here. So alongside a whole cohort of ro robots buried and inlaid into concrete. So j probably based on measuring the age of the wall, we know when this happened. Um, the crown of Iox was forged. Uh, fat okay, actually, let's check that out. So according to legend, it was made for the first empress herself. Um, the last emperor disappears. Iox fell to invaders and the empire was destroyed, but the emperor himself escaped. His body was never found. Okay. And very close to that timeline, if I zoom in, they all seem to be at the same point in time, but they're not really. So uh, just, just because the, the time spans are so enormous. So the crown of the Iox emperor was lost. Somehow during the fall of Iox, the crown that had been the mark of emperors for centuries disappeared along with the last emperor. It's also the fall of Iox. The emperor's palace was stormed, the royal family murdered, and the guard ships destroyed, and the nebula fell into disarray for centuries. Um, the loop temple reestablished in Iox. The loop faith of the holy empire is revived on Iox. The Dark Age. Very little is known about uh, of the years uh, between the fall of the uh, of Iox and the founding of the Iox Protectorate. University of Iox established, founded to study the events within the loop. It is soon expanded to cover robotics, mathematics, hopper physics, and other fields. So we do have a fairly comprehensive education system, although it's very religiously based, um, which is arguably actually pretty uh, um, uh, commensurate with. Uh, uh, our planet's own history um, in the past anyway now let's see uh, so my birth and the great lady's orphanage this is about us so I don't know the true date the great ladies gave me a day different from the other children in the orphanage uh, meeting Aroy Aroy and I became friends speak, sneaking around the hall she stole screwdrivers and I stole books the great ladies raised me and found me work from the moment I could walk I would later work for Tamor in his bar, washing up and fetching supplies. Uh, Miari visits the orphanage. What brought her there I've never understood. My first kiss. We never thought we would leave the orphanage. Adulthood seemed impossibly far away. Miari takes me to Iox. It was on Iox that my tuition began in earnest. I worked for Tamor. Tamor always had another job for me and another reason for me to stay around. I joined the university. I began to study formally in the same group as Huang. I met Tappy. Aroy introduced me to him. He helped her to get started after I left Elbereth, providing her with tools and simple projects. Finding the Nightingale. 
The ship was resting, half repaired, in an abandoned hall on Elbereth. For the longest time, I didn't tell Miari I had her. Oroi helped to launch the Nightingale. I would never have got it up into the rivers without Oroi's advice, but she didn't want to come with me, of course. I get my third robot. There are definitely problems with this one. And then we scoot forward to events that we have just witnessed. And as you can see, I can scroll around and visit all sorts of times on this thing. Uh, this is about my life, robots, robots. So yeah, as I zoom out and I incorporate more things into the view, uh, the tabs that appear at the top are I don't know exactly how it's measured or how it's determined but uh, if I'm already on uh, on a category that's uh, yeah the dark age the fall Iox uh, oh I can so I can do that that's the zoom yeah you can see I only have a few tabs here but if I uh, pick a, another topic it'll actually uh, expand a different set of tabs. So this has enormous amounts of information buried in it. And we'll we'll revisit this as time goes on. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, so this is uh, this is uh, where I'm going to call the stream here. And the reason for that is because um, because uh, I have friends who have just shown up and I'm going to do a little bit of gaming with them because they're probably as sort of stressed out for work and looking to escape uh, just like I am. So uh, we will show what happens uh, once we uh, do the uh, get up and about in the ship. Aboard the Nightingale. My ship is my refuge. It's the only place that's truly mine. I'm going to show this briefly, and then I'm going to have to call it. The journey to Mercy should be quick, mistress. You think Miari's friend is in trouble? As I say, mistress, we should know shortly if we depart. What do you know about Mercy? Nothing. It is a moon of pigs and rice, mistress. Part of the protectorate, of course. Maybe Mercy will have a few ruins of its own. That seems unlikely, but it is not wealthy. Nonetheless, I will prepare the ropes. And this is a quick teaser. Or should be a quick teaser. We're going to go to Mercy, and I'm going to plot a course. It's where Janeki told Miari was going before he visited, but I'd be visiting a rice farm. Plot a course, and then we exit. The Oxian space, sailing to Mercy in the Verdant Pass. Really, you have to. Myari wanted us to sail to Mayersi. It was a short sail through fast waters. All right. And that's where we're going to call it, because sailing through this is absolutely beautiful, and getting to all the neat little places is absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, the story continues to evolve and get more expansive, and we do lots more investigation into the language that's buried into this game. Anyway, this has been delightful. Thank you so much, and uh, I will see you all in the next stream.